Professor Clements with you, again working electrostatics problem involving potential, this time with two charges, 5 microcoulombs located at 0 centimeters, minus 3 microcoulombs located at 20 centimeters, and we'll take these to be fixed charges. We want to calculate the work required to move 4 microcoulombs from the 35 centimeter location on the x-axis out to 60 centimeters. Well, what do we need to calculate work? We need charge times change in potential. We will need to know the potential at 35 centimeters and the potential at 60 centimeters. And this will be calculated again with kq over r to uh, uh, accomplish the delta v calculation. Uh, so we have the potentials created by the two charges. We add those together, add the potentials together. The potential will be positive or negative depending on the size, the sign of Q. So potential for the 5 microcoulomb charge, 9 times 10 to the 9th and 5 times 10 to the minus 6. And our distance is uh, 35 centimeters from 0 out to 35 centimeters. That becomes 0.35 meters. Our second charge, minus 3 microcoulombs, is not as far away. It's at the 20 centimeter location and we're going out to the 35 centimeter location for this calculation. So only 0.15 meters for the R value. And again you can pause the video and uh, verify that. So in doing the calculation I came up with minus 5.14 times 10 to the fourth volts. Now we need the second location. We need the potential at 60 centimeters. So our R's change, the Q's stay the same, but the R numbers are different. And the potential at the second location, at point B, is 7.5 times 10 to the third volts. Notice that one is a negative and the other is a positive. That's because of the R values and the way that they're affecting the calculation of each term. Then we can do our work calculation, Q times delta V. The delta V is 5.89 times 10 to the fourth volts. Our Q times delta V, 4 times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs is the charge that we're moving from the two locations. And I end up with 0.236 joules. That's the work required to move this 4 microcoulomb charge between the two locations. Uh, why would it be difficult to calculate this work using the method we used first semester? Work is force times distance. Work is force times distance. What would be the difficulty in repeating this calculation with the formula work equals force times distance? You're now thinking. The answer is force is a variable. The force is a variable. Uh, the electric force depends on the distance away from the objects and as we move from the 35 centimeter location to the 60 centimeter location, the electric force is going to be different at, at each point. And again, as we saw in the first semester, these energy type methods and the potential gives us uh, effectively an energy to work with, we have a, a easier method of calculating the work done when the force is a variable. So keep practicing with that and uh, come back to the YouTube channel for more examples in physics.